What's up guys, it's Chris Majestic and you guys asked for it. So today we're gonna review the winner of the 2022 Laser TV Showdown. This portion of today's video is sponsored by SLID. So have you ever been watching a video and found yourself constantly taking screenshots and taking down notes to go along with them? Well, SLID might be exactly what you're looking for. SLID is a free note-taking application that allows you to quickly capture screenshots and easily take notes while you watch videos. This is a fantastic tool for online lectures, video calls, meetings, or YouTube videos. And if you're watching a YouTube video, SLID will keep track of the timestamps so you can easily refer to your notes during a specific moment in the video. You can even capture a small snapshot of the video and drop it right into your notes and you can even record a specific section of the video. I know personally when I'm watching certain types of tutorials or guides, it can be a bit challenging sometimes especially if I want to copy a bunch of text or code. Well instead of manually copying and typing out the text, SLID can actually pull the text directly from the screenshots which can save you a ton of time. So SLID is available as a desktop app, phone app as well as a browser plugin making it super easy to get started. So if you're ready to take your notes to the next level, use the link in the video description to get started with SLID today. I want to thank SLID for sponsoring this portion of today's video and let's jump back into it. So in case you missed the video a couple months ago, I was asked to be one of the judges in the 2022 Laser TV Showdown that was hosted by ProjectorScreen.com and Projector Central. The showdown showcased several ultra short throw laser projectors side by side for myself and other judges to score them based on their performance in several categories. And the projector that I'll be reviewing today was the first place winner for the triple laser category. Now, if you're not familiar with ultra short throw laser projectors, also known as laser TVs, these are projectors that can sit on a TV stand directly in front of a wall and they use lasers to display a huge bright crystal clear image anywhere from 100 to 150 inches. This makes them a great option for anyone looking for a huge screen without the need for professional installation or a dedicated movie room. So what we have with us today is the not so ironically named laser TV known as the 4 Movie Theater. This is a triple laser ultra short throw 4K projector that's shaking up the market with its outstanding performance and low retail price of 3,500 bucks. Now I know you're probably thinking 3,500 bucks is a lot of money and you're right, but considering the performance and features you're getting from this projector and the fact that it outperforms projector that costs twice as much, this is a pretty good bargain. Not to mention our channel affiliate projectorscreen.com sells the full movie for $3,000, which makes it an even better deal. Now in all honesty, with a name like 4 Movie Theater, I do have to say that it was hard for me to take this thing seriously at first, but when I saw how well it performed at the Laser TV shootout, I gotta say I was surprised to say the least. The manufacturer of this projector is actually known as Fangmi, and they've produced a few projectors in the past that were directed primarily at the Chinese market, but the 4 Movie is marketed specifically for the US. Now the 4 Movie isn't perfect, which I'll talk about in a little bit, but I do think it checks more than enough boxes for anyone looking for an ultra short throw projector. Now you guys have heard me say it a bunch of times, but I'm all about the minimalist design when it comes to ultra short throw projectors, and I really like the color, size, and simplicity of the 4 Movies design with its dark gray finish. On top, you'll find a single button, which is the power button. The front has mesh fabric that hides a set of Bowers and Wilkins speakers. The sides have additional side firing tweeters, adjustment knobs for the front feet, and of course fans to keep things cool. And of course you have your ports on the back. So it has three HDMI 2.1 ports which support both ALLM and eARC, even though it doesn't support 120 hertz since the DLP system is limited to 60 hertz. It has two USB ports, an analog 3.5 millimeter stereo output, optical output, and an ethernet port. And when it comes to specs, you'd be hard pressed to find an ultra short throw with better specs than this, especially for the money. So the 4 Movie uses pixel shifting to produce a 4K image. And since it's a triple laser projector, it uses separate red, green, and blue lasers to produce an image rated at 2800 ANSI lumens. This not only gives it that extra brightness, but it also allows it to maintain high color accuracy, covering 107% of BT2020. And it's one of the very few projectors at the moment that uses the ALPD 4.0 
laser light engine, which not only gives it a bright and color accurate image, but also gives it a fantastic contrast ratio, which I'll get to in a little bit. It has Android TV 11 built in. It supports screen sizes up to 150 inches and it has a 23 to one throw ratio. So it can produce a hundred inch screen from about nine inches away from the wall. It also supports HDR 10 Dolby Vision, which is a huge plus. And as I mentioned earlier, it has a nice set of Barras and Wilkins speakers built in. So the 4 movie comes with Android TV 11.0 installed, which is one of the better operating systems in my opinion. Now Android TV performance can be hit or miss on certain projectors, but it ran flawlessly for me on the 4 movie. I was able to play 4K movies right over Wi-Fi and I found no issues with app performance. All right, so moving on to what you really came here for, which is picture quality. So I finally got a chance to put together my Spectra Vantage Ultra Short Throw screen, which is the same screen we used in the Ultra Short Throw shootout. So I was eager to see how it performed in my living room. So the first thing I did was fire up some football because why not? And I figured this would be a perfect test to see how well it performed in a room with several windows. I did find that it could stand to be a bit brighter, but there is quite a bit of ambient light in the room. But once I got a chance to do some night viewing, I remembered why this projector won the laser shootout. Not only does it produce a nice vivid image, but the contrast is so much better than most ultra short throws out there, especially those in the same price bracket. The color accuracy and contrast produce an excellent SDR image, and the black levels are some of the best I've seen from a laser TV. But the place where this projector really shines is with HDR content. Shadow detail and highlights are absolutely fantastic from this projector. With HDR, you really get to see what makes this projector stand out from the rest. The tone mapping is definitely among the best I've seen from a laser TV, and it produces a lifelike image with great detail and depth. One thing that I found notable was the black level stood out even more with HDR content, which was reflected in the shadow detail section of the projector shootout scorecard. I could definitely definitely see more detail in dark areas with this projector compared to some of my favorites in the past, like the Samsung LSP9T and the Hisense L9G. And one trick this projector has up its sleeve is that it not only supports HDR10, but Dolby Vision as well. Dolby Vision allows this projector to show off its great contrast even further when compared to HDR10. Now it's not quite at the level of a Dolby Vision TV, but certainly better than the average projector. Now if I did have to nitpick, I'd say the overall brightness does suffer a bit with HDR content. This is perfectly fine at night in a dark room, but my wife and I found watching HDR content in the middle of the day to be a bit challenging, especially with the windows open. I suppose this is kind of a trade-off for the better contrast. All right, so moving on to gaming, which is one of my favorite tests. So after testing the 4 movie with my 4K Leo Botner lag tester, I measured the input lag at around 40 milliseconds. So this will work for some casual gaming, but if you plan on doing any fast paced or highly competitive gaming, you might need something a bit faster. Aside from the average input lag, the games looked fantastic on this projector and the shadow detail helped tremendously with dark scenes, which can be a bit challenging for other laser projectors. All right, so what about those Bowers and Wilkins speakers? Well, after firing up one of my favorite movie scenes for sound testing, I cranked up the volume and I was impressed by how loud the speakers are on this projector. Not only were they loud, but the sound was clear and there was very little clipping even at full volume, which I have to admit was pretty impressive. Now they weren't quite as immersive as some other high-end laser TVs, but I'd certainly put it in the top five. And while we're on the topic of sound, the projector noise wasn't an issue with this projector. I didn't notice any laser whine and I never found the fans to be distracting even during quiet movie scenes. All right, so moving on to one of the most important parts of any review, which is the section I like to refer to as caveats or things I don't like. Now, considering the price of the four movie theater, you're probably thinking there have to be a bunch of caveats compared to some of the more expensive units. Well, even though there were a few things I think could be better, there weren't really that many. The first thing I noticed is that whenever the projector is first turned on after being off for a while, the sharpness isn't quite as sharp as it should be. At first, I thought I had the projector out of focus, but I found that the focus got better after a few minutes. I'm not sure what causes this or if it was specific to my unit, but it really isn't a big deal since it goes away after a few minutes. Another concern was the overall brightness in my living room in the middle of the day. With the claimed 2800 ANSI lumens, it should do a decent job, but no matter what settings I used, I couldn't get the image to cut through the ambient light 
quite like I expected. I measured about 2100 white ANSI lumens in its brightest mode, which isn't bad, but not quite enough to cut through a bright room. This was especially noticeable with HDR content during the day. So as far as caveats go, those are really the only things I have. And considering those minor drawbacks, I still think this projector is worth the current sale price of $3,000 from our channel affiliate projectorscreen.com. And they're currently offering a Black Friday price guarantee so you can continue to take advantage of that $500 discount. And when it comes to ultra short throw projectors, unless you're looking for something incredibly bright, I honestly don't think there's anything else out there better for the money. Now, one thing that's worth mentioning about the scores from the laser shootout is that all of the projectors on the list were really close and all within one point of each other overall. So that says a lot. Even if the LG or the Hisense would have won the shootout, I'd still recommend people to go buy the 4 movie considering the price to performance ratio. You have to consider that the 4 movie is literally the least expensive projector in this category and it somehow outperforms the competition in several areas. But in an industry where you normally get what you pay for, I have to say this is quite impressive. But that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Hopefully you found it helpful. As always, if you did, go ahead and make sure you mash that like button for me. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any new videos. And I do have a few more projector reviews coming up, including the Epson LS11000 and a few others. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.